In a world fueled by cinematic stories, Mel Ferrer carved out a unique space for himself as an influential actor and director. He was best known for his roles in classic films such as War and Peace and Lily, which earned him wide acclaim. Beyond acting for his direction extended to several well-received movies, showcasing his ability to guide narratives from behind the camera. His career in film and television spanned over several decades, allowing him to establish a significant presence in Hollywood and influence future generations of filmmakers and actors. Mel Ferrer was an actor known for his roles in classic films like War and Peace and Lily. His performances brought characters to life in a way that touched many hearts. Now, we're curious to know which of Mel Ferrer's roles is your favorite. What qualities of his acting do you think make him a lasting figure in film history? Share your most treasured memory or personal story about Mel Ferrer with us. We're eager to hear your stories and memories in the comments. Stay tuned as we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts about Mel Ferrer to share with you. Mel Ferrer was born into a family of doctors, and his father was a renowned surgeon. Despite this, he found his passion in the arts. As a child, he was sick often, which led him to read a lot and develop a love for storytelling. He started as an actor and later became a director and producer. His early work in theater and radio shaped his craft. For his first wife, Frances Gunby Pilchard encouraged him to pursue acting, and he received guidance from mentors like Harold Clerman and Lee Strasberg, who were influential in American theater. Ferrer's broad career in film, theater, and television was driven by his early love for the arts and the support of those who believed in his talent. Mel Ferrer was an actor and director who made a significant mark in the film industry during the mid-20th century. Born on August 25, 1917 in Elbrun, New Jersey, he grew into a tall and graceful performer known for his work both in front of and behind the camera. His career spanned over four decades, during which he appeared in more than 100 films and television shows. Furr's notable performances include roles in classics such as Lily and War and Peace. He was also recognized for his directing efforts, particularly for the film The Sun Also Rises. His marriage to actress Audrey Hepburn was highly publicized, and together they became one of Hollywood's most beloved couples. Furr's contributions to cinema were not just limited to acting and directing, he also worked as a producer, bringing many stories to life on the screen. His dedication to his craft and his ability to captivate audiences with his performances are why he is remembered and celebrated today. Mel Furr, an actor known for his roles in classic films, found his passion for acting during his early years. As a young boy, he was often sick and had to stay in bed. During this time, he would read plays and imagine himself in the stories. This sparked his love for acting. He started by performing in school plays, where he enjoyed the thrill of being on stage and the joy of storytelling. His big break came when he was noticed by a talent scout during one of his performances. This opportunity led him to pursue acting as a career, and he went on to star in many successful films. His early experiences with plays and the encouragement he received from his first audiences were key to his decision to become an actor. Fur's journey shows how a challenging time in life can lead to discovering one's true calling. Mel Ferrer stepped onto the Broadway stage as an actor when he was 23 years old, showing his talent just two years after he first appeared as a dancer. His career took him to the big screen, where he played dual roles in the film Paris when it sizzles. At a masquerade party, he transformed into both Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde characters that are complete opposites. Later in his career, he directed his second to last feature film, continuing to share his passion for storytelling through cinema. Mel Fur, the actor, faced significant challenges when starting his career. He struggled with financial issues and was not immediately accepted in the film industry. Despite these hardships, he showed great determination. He took on various roles and worked hard to improve his acting skills. His efforts paid off as he found ways to stand out and earn recognition for his talent. His story is one of persistence and creative problem solving, proving that dedication can lead to success even when facing tough obstacles. Furr's journey is an inspiring example for anyone who faces their own challenges. Mel Ferrer played a French-Canadian radio speaker in Wait Until Dark, a movie produced by Audrey Hepburn, his wife at the time. 
Their collaboration on this film in 1967 was part of their effort to save their marriage, which unfortunately ended in divorce in 1968. Audrey Hepburn wanted to stay close to Ferrer while she was filming Funny Face in 1957. To make this possible, the filming of the pair scenes was scheduled to overlap with Ferrer's work on Elena and her men in 1956. In the movie Brannigan, Mel Ferrer portrayed the character Fields. In the climax of the film, Fields switches from driving a white Rolls Royce to a British Ford Granada Coupe with the registration NHK 293M. This car number is very close to NHK 295M, a car used in the opening credits of the UK cop drama The Sweeney during its first three seasons. Mel Ferrer's career had several key moments that shaped his success as an actor. His lead role in the film Lily in 1953 was a significant turning point, earning him praise for his performance. This role made him a known face in Hollywood. Another major moment was his part in War and Peace in 1956, which was a big production and showcased his acting skills on a grand scale. His peers and critics noted his ability to bring depth to his characters, making him a respected figure in the film industry. His work in these films and others laid a strong foundation for a lasting career in acting. Mel Ferrer left Princeton University in his second year to work as a newspaper editor in Vermont. During this time, he also wrote a book for kids called Tito's Hat. Later, he played the role of Cleander in the fall of the Roman Empire, where he spoke only nine lines. Although Vincent Minnelli was first chosen to direct this film, it was Mel Ferrer who ended up as the director due to delays. Mel Ferrer was known for his thoughtful approach to acting. He often chose roles that challenged him and allowed him to explore different aspects of human nature. His performances were shaped by his own life experiences, including his early struggles with illness and his time serving in World War II. These experiences gave him a deep understanding of pain, resilience, and the complexity of emotions which he brought to his characters. He was also a director and producer, which gave him a unique perspective on storytelling and the collaborative nature of filmmaking. His work reflects a dedication to craft and a deep empathy for the human condition. Fur's approach was to fully immerse himself in his characters, seeking to understand their motivations and feelings, which made his performances genuine and moving. Mel Ferrer and Audrey Hepburn teamed up for a film that was to start a series of collaborations. However, it turned out to be their only joint project that made it to the public. In the movie Charade, there's a scene where Audrey Hepburn is dancing in a nightclub. If you look closely, you can spot Mel Ferrer in the background. He's the man enjoying a cigarette. Back in the early 1930s, there was talk of making a movie called Green Mansions with famous actors Dolores Del Rio and Joel McCrea. The studio behind it, RKO Pictures, had to put the idea on hold, and it was eventually dropped. Many years later, the idea was picked up again. This time, producer Edmund Granger and director Mel Ferrer brought it to life with MGM, a different movie studio. Mel Ferrer was an American actor and director who played a significant role in classic Hollywood cinema. He is best known for his performances in films like Lily and War and Peace, where his unique acting style brought a blend of elegance and understated intensity to his roles. This style influenced a number of actors who admired his ability to convey complex emotions subtly and effectively. Industry experts often note that Furr's approach to his characters paved the way for more nuanced and realistic performances during a time when many actors opted for more dramatic and theatrical styles. His work behind the camera as a director also helped to nurture new talent and innovate filmmaking techniques during the 1950s and 1960s. People he worked with or inspired remember him for his thoughtful guidance and commitment to the craft of filmmaking, setting a standard for professionalism and depth in both acting and directing. Mel Ferrer was closely related to a prominent figure in the medical field, his sister, Dr. Imran Afer. She played a significant role in advancing heart health by refining the cardiac catheter and the electrocardiogram tools vital for diagnosing heart conditions today. In his personal life, Ferrer had a unique interest in wildlife, especially from the Venezuelan jungle. He went to great lengths for his films, including capturing several snakes and birds native to Venezuela and bringing them to Hollywood. Additionally, he and his wife, Audrey Hepburn, raised a baby deer at their home for months to prepare it for its role in a movie showcasing their dedication to authentic filmmaking. 
Unfortunately, Ferrer also faced personal tragedy when his oldest child with Pilchard passed away as an infant, a stark reminder of the challenges he faced beyond his professional life. Mel Ferrer, known primarily for his acting and directing career, also had a rich personal life that deeply influenced his professional endeavors. Beyond the screen, Ferrer was an avid reader and gardener interest that provided him with a sense of peace and groundedness. This tranquility often translated into the calm and authoritative presence he portrayed in his characters. He was also known for his dedication to humanitarian causes. Ferrer supported various charitable organizations and was particularly passionate about children's welfare and health issues. This commitment to helping others was reflected in the warmth and empathy he brought to his roles, making him a beloved figure both on and off the screen. Mel Ferrer played a significant role in founding the La Jolla Playhouse in 1947, alongside Dorothy McGuire and Gregory Peck. This initiative began at La Jolla High School in California and has since evolved into a notable theater complex at the University of California in San Diego. Before marrying Elizabeth Salkatine, Ferrer was involved in a widely discussed relationship with Tessa Kennedy, a 29-year-old interior designer and shipping heiress who was still married to Dominic Elwes at the time. Additionally, Ferrer contributed to the film industry by serving as a member of the jury at the Cannes Film Festival in 1962, showcasing his involvement in various facets of entertainment and arts beyond his acting career. Mel Ferrer was well known for his roles in film and television, showing a wide range of acting skills that made him a respected figure in Hollywood. Looking ahead, he might have focused on directing or producing, using his extensive experience to guide new projects. For those starting in acting, Ferrer would likely advise dedication to the craft, continuous learning, and taking every opportunity to act, whether in small local productions or bigger roles, as each experience helps develop skills and confidence. Mel Ferrer took on the role of Harvey Wood in the horror film Eaten Alive, and four years later, he was part of another movie with the same title. As a director, he explored South America to gather authentic jungle scenes for his film. He filmed for nearly an hour in the wild south of the Orinoco River and in the Parahori Mountains. To create a seamless blend with these real-life scenes, a large movie backlot was transformed. Workers brought in 300 tons of natural materials like turf, rocks, and plants and built structures like canoes and grass huts to make the set look just like the South American jungle he had filmed. Mel Ferrer was also a father. He and Audrey Hepburn had a son named Sean Hepburn Ferrer. Mel Ferrer's journey in the entertainment industry was defined by his deep passion for acting and directing. He began his career with significant roles on Broadway, which opened doors to opportunities in film and television. His talent for directing was equally evident, seen in how he crafted stories that captivated audiences. Despite facing challenges such as health issues and competitive industry pressures, Furr's determination never wavered. His career, spanning several decades, serves as a powerful example of how creativity and perseverance can lead to lasting success. His story encourages us all to stay dedicated to our passions, no matter the obstacles. Mel Ferrer brought life to Philip Erickson in the TV show Falcon Crest, where behind-the-scenes tension mirrored on-screen drama. His time on the show was marked by Jane Wyman's strong presence, similar to her character Angela Channing. Claims arose from Ferrer and others that Wyman's influence led to their departure. The conflict peaked with Lana Turner, whose off-screen silence with Wyman led to separately filmed scenes. Turner's exit from the show in the second season was followed by her speaking out against Wyman's behavior, linking it to jealousy over her ex-husband Ronald Reagan's presidency. In the war film The Longest Day, Ferrer was set to portray Major General Robert Haynes. Initially, he was to play General James Gavin, but had to step back due to other commitments. Ferrer also directed Jose Ferrer, who was not related to him, in his debut as Serrano de Bergerac, showcasing his skills behind the camera as well as in front of it. This collaboration marked a significant moment in both their careers. Mel Ferrer took on the role of a character named Noel in the film Scaramouche. To match the height of his co-stars, including Ferrer, actor Stuart Granger used shoe lifts. Despite being listed as 6 feet 3 inches tall, it's believed Granger was actually 6 feet 1 inch. Ferrer also appeared in two horror films with similar titles, Eaten Alive in 1976 and Eaten Alive in 1980. 
His personal life saw some overlap as his second child with Francis Gunby Pilcher, Peppa Philippa Fur, was born after their divorce and before their second marriage during his marriage to Barbara Citra. Mel Fur, known for his role as Prince Andrei Bokonsky in War and Peace, was not related to Jose Ferrer or his son Miguel Fur. Interestingly, Mel's son with Audrey Hepburn, Sean Hepburn Fur, appeared in the film They All Laughed as a character named Jose, a nod to Hollywood insiders. In the Italian version of War and Peace, voice actors dubbed the English-speaking cast with Stefano Sibaldi providing Mel's voice. After a successful career, Mel Ferrer retired from acting in 1997 when he turned 80 years old and moved to Lausanne, Switzerland, where he lived away from the spotlight. Mel Ferrer brought life to Prince Andrei Bolkonsky in War and Peace, where he, unlike Jeremy Brett, was filmed on a mechanical horse for close shots. This detail added a unique touch to the hunting scene with the Rosto vs. and Sex and the single girl Ferrer played Rudy de Meyer, while simultaneously My Fair Lady was being filmed nearby with his wife Audrey Hepburn as the lead. Ferrer's personal life was as full as his professional one, being a father to five children from two marriages before his union with Hepburn, with whom he had his son Sean. Mel Ferrer's acting career brought many memorable roles to the screen that have delighted audiences for years. His performances showed a wide range of emotions and depth. If you have enjoyed watching his films or have special memories related to his work, please share your thoughts in the comments. Your stories help keep the appreciation for his work alive. If you like this content and want to see more, hit the like button, share with friends, and subscribe. Your support helps us create more videos that celebrate the artists who inspire and entertain us.